Okay, so today we're installing a single door frame, okay? So um, the last, last video we installed a double door frame over there on the concrete. Today we're gonna be installing it over here on this plywood, okay? Excuse me, and it's single door and we have actual clips for them. So uh, we had to make custom clips for that door because they didn't send us any. So uh, now I can try to show you guys what I do with these clips, okay? So if you guys like these videos live from site, like I'm doing right now, make sure you're subscribed and get and hit that bell notification icon so you get notified when I go live. Uh, I'm gonna be going live a lot from site, I think. Um, I'm building a, I'm gonna be building a, like I'm trying to figure out if it'll work here where I am in Canada, but uh, like a, like a IRL backpack is what's called, in real life type thing. And it'll have the technology so I can send a higher quality video and use actual streaming software. But for now, I just do it off my phone, so which is cool, okay? So th now this is your opportunity to ask me stuff live, uh, or if you're just watching the replay, leave your questions in the comments below, and I always get back to you. Hey, what's up, man? Burgo, what's up, man? Good to see you. Welcome to the welcome to the stream, man. Um, okay, so first things first. Uh, if you guys remember this this door opening, whoa, I love this gimbal. The door opening was already framed out. I, um, I already, before the stream, I loosened Alger Alger Algeria. Nice. That's great, man. Welcome, Algeria. Shout out, Algeria. That's, that's really cool, man. Good. I'm glad to have you here. Um, so, yeah, this door frame, we had already framed it out. We didn't have the door, so I, before the stream, I unscrewed the second door studs and took out the, like, in the corner studs and stuff so that I have access uh, to my uh, door studs, okay? So what I do with these clips, first thing I do is, you can tell these are um, adjustable, okay? You, they're already been, this was a door that was demoed out of the, uh, the exit, like the old uh, building that was here, like the last tenant. So the swing is gonna be a little weird on this, okay? Um, but because it doesn't match the, the, the new framing, but they want us to reuse this door frame. So I'm just gonna put it in and like, yeah, it's just, it's just gonna be weird, so. Um, normally the doors would open in, into the wall there, okay? Uh, but I think I'm gonna have to have it open out this way, okay? Um, into the room, which is a little weird, but um, I think it's a better swing than um, going backwards inside, I think. I don't know, I'm not sure. Hey, Eddie Smallhorn, my man, thank you so much. Yes, you too, I hope you're having an awesome Sunday too, man. Fantastic, good to see you. Right on, dude. Right on. All right. Uh, so the it's pretty simple though. These clips are pretty simple, and um, uh, you just bang the like the guy whoever did these didn't didn't do these properly. But we just bang. I'm gonna bang them down, nice. But you can adjust these to your to your uh, to your frame width, okay? Like uh, these probably go all the way up to six inch or more. So I got the frame. So here, check this out. So the clips are already installed. Man, send my love to the girls, Eddie. That was really nice of you. Thank you so much. Um, I think that's as low as I can go. Okay, so the clips are already like in this frame. All right, so I'm going to keep it up. I'm going to use uh, all three clips. Okay, so because I, of how I'm going to fasten it down is with a, it's a, it's a certain kind of screw with a pan head uh, on the bottom. But if it was hammer drilled down to concrete, I didn't have to use three clips. I would only have to use two clips, right? One at the top and one at the middle. But just because it's wood, it's not going to be as strong as pinning it with the, with the smack pins down to concrete. So I'm going to keep it with the three. Um, but what I will do, oh, excuse me. What I will do is I'm going to cut these tabs off, okay? And uh, these tabs are for wood framing, okay? Uh, or, um, or say like you you can't you can't have you can't get access to the inside of the stud to screw into the clip this way right so these these tabs are optional and like I said they're they're for putting these doors on wood or for like places you just can't get your screw gun into right to get fasten them in, in the back side of the stud like that so I'm going to cut these off because I have access in Placo Plata, pl pl Placo Plata, nice man, that's great. That is fantastic. I love that. Man, we get guys from all over the world here. Uh, it's really, it's really something. 
I really, uh, sometimes, some streams are like, you're, we're like, um, oh man, you know, everyone shouts out where they're from and it's, it's crazy, like, wow, it's awesome. We got England regularly, uh, the Philippines, uh, Russia now, uh, the States, obviously, Canada, um, and uh, there's a couple, a couple other spots, but yeah, it's really interesting. I really love it. really helps for the drywall okay like the, the these tabs get in the way okay so this helps get the drywall in behind in behind the door frame easily right so the, the, that's also why you want to clip the tabs off right take this hinge off as well and I'll show you how these clips snap into the frames. I'm going to make sure is that my my frame is smacked together nicely and strong and all the the seams are going to line up right so let's just go here um let's see here uh, if i go oh i think my gimbal's dying right you want to make sure everything still lines up good, right? You want to make sure that the door stop is 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 even all the way around. Uh, you can see this they they stripped one of the screws on the demo here, so this is gonna to have to be drilled out. Look, it's like the idiots actually tried to pull it out too. Oh, man. Anyways, <laughs> um, okay, so this clip here goes into the door frame like so. They just,
then. So, and you want one at the, at the hinges basically, right? So one here at the top and one, one down here. And we got this one here at the bottom, okay? So close to the hinges is good. Uh, because I have, <clears throat> because I have, uh, why is it my gimbal? If I square it out, okay, there we go. Okay, beautiful. So. Because I have uh, the bottom angle, um, let's see here, yeah. Not like the other door, okay? I have this bottom angle, I'm gonna be able to screw it down to the, the base, okay? I do have Instagram, yeah, it's Construction Cronies. Yeah, I'm Construction Cronies on uh, Instagram as well. So, yeah. Uh, and I missed one from Eddie. Let's see here. I pay, this is why I don't do stuff. I pay someone. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so hopefully we can, we'll be able to see uh, what I'm doing. It's too bad uh, I have to use the front camera for this. Let's get some more room. Okay, now I'm going to slip the door in. Okay, so already too, I'm assuming... You've done your layout, okay? You've already lasered up your door opening, okay? So the studs, and you have your marks up at the top. I'm gonna start off to the, this one side, uh, which usually you would start on the hinge side, okay? And secure that nice and level. And then you measure over, okay, to the other side. pieces of uh, carrying channel they're perfectly square and um, perfectly measured okay so the cut is perfect so I'm gonna use them as a spreader bars for this door So you can see I have them, uh, the spreader bar on either side of the door stop. Okay, that way I keep the casing square. <clears throat> and I'm gonna use these screws, okay, with the, with the Robertson. Number two Robertson and the pan. It's got the pan head, okay? I'm gonna use these to fasten the angle down to the plywood. Okay, and I also have my drywall spacers. You'll see that I'm gonna put the drywall in on either side so that um, I have proper spacing for the drywall to slip in behind the door frame. The wall is level, okay? I've lasered in the top track from the bottom, okay? So it's level. The, the, 
Doors, studs are all plumb, okay? Because there's level, they're lasered in and measured in, marked, they're perfect. So all I need to do is make sure the drywall fits and the level will be perfect. Now I got this side done, right? I got two screws now, and now the bottom of the frame is fastened down to the plywood. Now I'm gonna go to the top. All right, I'm gonna go to the top, use my drywall spacer, and screw the clip in through the stud, the back of the stud, okay? We're using just regular self-tapping framing screws, okay? This 20 gauge steel stud, it's a heavy gauge steel clip, so it's probably, I think they're around like 16, 18 gauge, so these self-drilling will work perfectly fine. I screwed the stud back in at the bottom. I didn't take the screws out at the top, only at the bottom, but I, I just, so I just put them in before I, I screw it into the clip, okay? Take my piece of drywall, and I put it up here, okay, in the corner, like that. Okay, we'll do a, we'll do, we'll do a little close-up. Alrighty. So, like that, so that it intersects the header and the, and, the, and the up right here, okay? Okay, you want it to fit in both. So I always, I kind of angle it so that it hits both at the top. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna screw in the clip uh, this way, through the studs, okay? This way. And then there's one down there. I'll show you that in a second too. Um, but yeah, actually you guys can come closer. Whew. While I'm doing that, all right, let's see here. Boop. Well, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, anyway. Uh. Yeah, right on. 
So remember too, on the, on the clips, one go, pops up and one comes down, right? So, hey, yo, you freaking Canadian, what's up? Uh, you Florid, Floridian, Florida, Floridian? <laughs> How's it going, bro? Now that I know my spacing is good, right? I draw a little, little bit now everywhere inside. It's just broken there. Yeah, you'll see, okay? it fits all the way. Both sides fits in nice, okay? I can go and screw in all the clips. Uh, when you when now when you install the drywall, that's kind of what finishes this, right? You um, you get your drywall in behind the frame, and then you put a line laser on the frame, okay? And then you make sure it's it's uh, plumb, okay, or like plumb, okay? And then you screw off your door stud, okay? But we're not doing that today. So now that that side's done, I just come over here and do the same on this side, right? Starting with the bottom. So here, I'll kind of see if I can get you closer on this side. There we go. Okay. Make sure it's tucked up to my spreader bars here, okay? It's tucked in there. And then I go back to the top again, okay? Oh yeah, try to space it.
kept screwing it into the, like the middle part and it separated. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and there you go. Voila. Okay, earning space. Drywall goes in the whole way, you're laughing, right? Um, so yeah, this is how you do it if it's already framed, right? Uh, I, what I ended up doing is I just unscrewed the second door studs, took them out, uh, the corner over there, took the corner studs out, just so I have access, right? Screwing into the clips this way is the best way, guys. It, just think about how many times the clips and the screws give you a big, big trouble. Are you supposed to eat the plum after you pick it? <laughs> right on. VOR dot NGO. Okay, I got to remember that. VOR, capital VOR. I'm going to put that in my block words list. Capital VOR. Okay. VOR, and then it was dot, what was it? Dot, uh, dot, VOR dot, and then it was, N tech capital G O N G O. Okay, I'm I'm gonna add those to my block words list. So uh, we'll ban that guy. Okay, excellent. So yeah, now I'm just gonna do the same thing I did on this side. I'm gonna screw off the rest of the um, of the clips. Okay, guys, and then I'll show you the uh, another little thing. Excellent. So now we know for sure that the, the drywall is going to fit all the way around both sides of the door. Okay. It's five eighths drywall. The, 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 see how the header ended up perfectly above the door. Okay. It's a, an inch higher. So when I know when I don't have the door frame, I will put the header up another inch. Okay. Just to give me that extra room. And it also allows you to like warp out the studs at the bottom to get the, uh, the bottom fastened down, right? Get a, you know, a drill or a hammer drill in there. Um, but yeah, so everything was, like I said, lasered in ahead of time when, uh, when we laid it out and framed it. So this is just uh, uh, putting in a door um, after that fact. So now we gotta go and put the rest of the studs back that we took out. Uh, and then we can chat. I got to, I'll show you some other things around the, you know. <sighs>
Nice to have the six foot bench. So yeah, I got double, double, store, double door studs, right? Uh, just finish this and then I'll give you the overall. Hey, Randy, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, bro. Steel studs are loud. Yes, they are. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. baby and that's pretty much it guys that's how we did it anyone have any questions <laughs> about that i um uh so yeah all the door studs are back right we have our um let's see here this is this is our floater stud right here is back okay so i took out the floater the second door stud and then these two corner studs okay I loosened them all off so that I could get at the bottom of the door, okay, to end the back of the stud to get the clip screwed in. So now you can see how clean that is. Okay, sorry. Like, look at, look at, this is a dream. Oh, this, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying to use a gimbal. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you see how clean, right? This is where the clip is, right? And you don't see that big, ugly overlap that, you know, like of the, when you use those tabs on the clips. All right, it's nice and clean, nothing there to obstruct your drywall, okay? It's gonna go in there nice. See, that's the clip right here, okay? And then there's another clip right here. Nice, there's nothing on the front of this stud, nothing wrapping around, okay? So the drywall's gonna go in nice, okay? And we also got the bottom, bottom, two screws uh, screwed down, right? So. Um, and then also too, if you guys noticed the, my, my, how I put my headers in, okay. I use little pieces of stud like this. Okay. I don't fold the track over and clip it onto here. 
Okay, that way the, there's no um, obstruction. Okay, the drywall is going to go in nice. That's why I don't like those, unless it's light gauge steel, okay? The only time you, you use a shoe like that is in light gauge framing, where you cut the track and bend it down for your headers. Otherwise, 20 gauge and heavier, you got to use these pieces of stud. Okay, that, that'll also help you get the drywall in. All right, door frames can be hard to drywall sometimes. So these, all these little tricks really help. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Like that is the door. I don't know if I can flip my camera around even. Let's see here. Yeah, darn it. Oh, there we go. If I hold it right there, Let's see if it'll lock. No. Ram set, no. No, I use the uh, the um, uh, Hilti gun, okay? Yeah, you can see how nice, right? There's no obstruction for the drywall. It's gonna go in nice and smooth. Okay, and that's how we screw our clips in, right? We screw them in through the stud this way. Cut those silly tabs off. So, <laughs> Um, but yeah, then this is the other door frame we installed the, uh, yesterday. So if you guys want to see the double door, we also built custom clips for this door and everything. Uh, so yeah, and we also did all the framing as well, okay, um, around it. So if you guys want to see that, you guys just go back to yesterday's live streams. One second, I'm, I'm getting there. Just go back to yesterday's live streams and watch the replay. Oh uh, yeah, let's see here. But yeah, this double door frame behind me, we uh, installed that, we built it, right? Because it came, it came in pieces. So we built the, built the frame, built custom clips, installed it and framed around it. So that was yesterday's, one of, one of yesterday's live streams. I streamed for over four hours yesterday. <laughs> the other part was framing this, this wall, right? We also framed the, the, this wall with the two window openings in it. Uh, it returns into here, so yeah, we did, all of that yesterday, all, uh, all of yesterday's live streams was the, what you see behind me. So uh, if you guys like this stuff, let me know, man. Make sure to let me, let me know if I'm on the right track here. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to go live as much as I can from site, show you guys how we really do it in the field and, and give you an est kind of an idea of how long things should take too, right? Um, don't forget, I'm live streaming, so shave a little bit of time off of, off of my live streams and that should be how long it takes you to do it, okay? Um, but yeah, anyways, how's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Let's go look, uh, we go look downstairs real quick. I didn't turn anything on, but I gotta get back home soon, so. How tall? That was um, uh, 17 feet tall. That, that was 17 feet tall. Off of the good old scaffold. Yeah, I was actually live streaming yesterday from the top of the scaffolding. So that was neat. No, <laughs> uh, I don't, you don't see that on YouTube uh, until I think I was the first one to ever do that. Uh, live stream from a scaffolding on site like that and uh, doing like in the install. <laughs> I've done it from a lift, a scissor lift before. <laughs> So yeah, what we got left in here, um, so you guys know what to expect for content. Drywalling, so we have drywalling and taping. Uh, they're, but they're in that drywalling, there's still more fire rating stuff to go over. Um, so yeah, we, I, I have these columns of videos to, shoot, to edit. Uh, we skim coated this back wall, it looks amazing. Like it's, uh, that was a very expensive wall. <laughs> so that's like a $4,000 wall right there. Uh, well, one behind me, that's not paint, that's completely uh, skim coated. It took six boxes of mud to fix that. I don't know why you spent the money, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I, uh, <laughs> why did you? <laughs> you had a good one, the Makitas are great. Uh, I would say the Makita is way better than the Milwaukee. <laughs> yeah, Makita tools are way better than Milwaukee tools. 
But yeah, I use the Hilti, uh, I don't use a RAM set, I use the Hilti DX351 or the DX120, uh, um, the BX3, the, uh, for the heavy stuff, the 460. Um, but uh, my, my, my main gun is the 351. So I wish I had a 120, the gas, the gas powered one. I like the nozzles on the 120s, they're really nice. You can get the damn things in pretty much anything, so. But uh, man, thanks again, Eddie, for the um, the, su the super chat, buddy. Happy New Year to you and uh, and the girls. Hope everything's well over there. Um, I got to get wrapped up because um, I could I, I was only able to come uh, for a quick live stream to do that door. My um, stop burying my boxes in mud. Yeah, I never do that. Um, like of course, yeah, it happens sometimes where you drywall over it by accident, but. I rarely, rarely, rarely uh, do that. So, but yeah. Oh, I know what you mean. But putting mud in the box, yeah, it's hard, especially when if, if the box is close to a bevel, right? Uh, hey, XP bottle, man, what's up? So that's why when you're drywalling, K, okay, try to try to find a layout that the bevels, the joints, don't land on a stud where there's a box. Okay. Um, ultimately, you want the boxes to be in the middle of the sheet, right? Because otherwise, they're going to get covered in mud. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. <laughs> I got to get going, guys. But Konamin, be well, my friend. Um, I'm, I have a, a summit this, this coming week, so a live streaming summit. So maybe I'll be practicing live streaming a lot from the studio. I got to rearrange the studio. I got all the parts for my new um, gimbal rig, so I gotta, I'm going to hook uh, set that up today. Um, and then I'm going to ask for permission to do uh, like a video shoot in, in here with the, with the product and stuff. So... It's going to be busy. I got a busy couple of weeks ahead of me, guys. Um, but thank you all for watching and, and giving me a thumbs up and the super chat, guys. Just appreciate you. If you guys have any questions, man, just leave them down in the comments. I promise to get back to you guys. Have a great day. Bye for now, guys. <laughs>